My father was in sales after the, the family farm, after World War II, and eventually got into the jewelry business. Uh, coming along in, as a small child, I used to see him in the jewelry store, and I used to see him work with his hands and the things that he did. And I was so intrigued by it, thinking one day, maybe, you know, I might follow in the family business. After a number of years in the law enforcement sector, I, I always realized my initial calling was to get back in the jewelry business. Uh, so I retired from government. My father had a store in Clayton, but I, did, I wanted to do something on my own. I had the love for working with my hands and crafting and custom design. One thing about jewelry, uh, you can buy a beautiful product, but if you don't trust who you buy it from, it doesn't go very far. We had built that trust by being here in the community, and the community had been very good to us, and still is. And we've done some beautiful pieces, uh, custom-wise, right down to simple battery in a watch. People see a product, it, and they see who, who did that for you, and they say, well, Evans Jewelers downtown Smithfield did it for us. Smithfield is, um, it, it still has a lot of the southern charm. Smithfield is a very, very special place. We had many opportunities to go out on, on a strip center or somewhere else, but we knew that we were building not just a store, but a destination. 